he used to live in the sea, but he had another plan. So he packed up all his things and he moved himself to land. And on that very day, a girl named Cat would say, Mom, Dad, I want a pet that I'm gonna love. He's not a cat or a dog or a frog or a hog. He's something different, something special. Kenny, Kenny the shark. I want Kenny, Kenny the shark. When do we eat? Later, Kenny. Honey, she's talking to that shark again. I'm starving. Let me know if you see any stray seals. Oh, do you have to eat everything, Kenny? After all, you're only one link in the food chain. That's a myth, Cat. There's no chain. There's just one long conveyor belt leading to my mouth. Mmm. <laughs> Sounds like potluck dinner. Wait! Don't eat me! Marty! What are you doing in that trash can? Oh, you know, hanging out, living the life. <laughs> a bully shoved me in here! I was walking down the street with a song in my heart and a brand new bone in my mouth. When out of the shadows, this big, nasty bully stopped me. I think he was half German Shepherd and half German Tank. The bully took my bone and stuffed me in here. Oh, that's awful. And it's not over. He says I have to get him another bone by 2 o'clock. <laughs> or else. Don't you worry, Marty. I'll take care of him for you. No, Kenny. That's just a short-term solution. True, but a tasty one. Marty must learn to defend himself. But the bully's so big! Marty, where there's a will, there's a way. Of course, if there is no way, you're gonna need a will. Uh, guys, how am I defending myself by hiding in your basement? You're not hiding. We're gonna watch some movies to help you handle that bully. Hold on to your seats. It's showtime. Throughout time, little animals, like you, have found ways to defend themselves against big animals, like me. Let's see how they do it. Marty, behold one of nature's most deceptive animals. Animal? What animal? All I see is a bunch of leaves. Ah, so it would appear. But look more closely. Hey, that leaf is moving. It's not a leaf. It's a leaf-wing butterfly. That's brilliant. It looks just like a leaf, so its enemies can't find him. If hide-and-seek were an Olympic sport, this guy would win. But he'd stick out if he ever left the tree. He can never go anywhere. Not true. In fact, one of his ancestors was a famous explorer. He was? You never heard of Leif Erikson? Uh... Check out this guy. Is that an underwater plant? Some of it. But if you look real closely... <gasps> one of the plants is moving. It's called a skeleton shrimp. It looks exactly like the sea plant it lives in. If looking weird was a defense, this guy would have nothing to worry about. I can't hide in any sea plants. No, but maybe you can hide yourself in a pile of hot dogs. You think that could work? Nah, it'll look too suspicious. Okay, scratch the wiener defense. Now here's something you don't see every day, or any day. Oh, wow. The clear eel larva. That's the most amazing thing I ever saw. You may never saw. It's just about invisible. Yeah, I can see right through it. That's the perfect defense. You can't catch something you can't see. How about a cold? Check out this guy. The extremely rare transparent elephant. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. It's just a bunch of trees. Sure, you can joke around, Kenny. Your life's not on the line. <sighs> Maybe I should just move. Don't be silly. We're gonna help you stand up to that bully. Or die trying. Kenny! Check out this guy. The chameleon is nature's master of disguise. He looks like a little dinosaur. If dinosaurs could do what this guy does, they wouldn't be extinct. Chameleons can change their skin to match their surroundings. Put him in a tree, he'll look like a tree. Put him on a rock, he'll look like a rock. What would happen if you put him on another chameleon? Marty, if asking silly questions was a defense, you'd be invincible. I can't change colors, and I don't look like anything. I'm doomed! Not necessarily. Oh, wow! Maybe you can learn a thing or two from the decorator crab. Was that his face? 
Um, you know what? You got me on that one. That could be anything. An armpit, a butt, or it could be just a distinguishing mole. Oh, jeez. What's he doing? He doesn't naturally blend in, so he's covering himself with seaweed. You mean he's building a costume? Yep. That's remarkable. He's using his claws to cut seaweed. He looks like a walking salad. Excuse me, waiter. My salad is escaping. Uh, waiter, waiter. The romaine lettuce is roaming all over the table. <laughs> I'm glad you two are having so much fun. Relax. Here's the defense that's right up your alley. Do these guys look familiar? Are those skunks? Uh-huh. Oh, they're so cute. You're just lucky this isn't smell-o-vision. Skunks use stinky odor as their main defense. Whoa. Are you saying I smell bad enough to chase away a bully? A bully? No. A lunch date? Probably. <laughs> if they smell so bad, how do they stand being with each other? They don't stink all the time, but if something threatens them, they can shoot out a revolting spray up to 16 feet. What's it smell like? You know how a school cafeteria smells when they serve tuna melt with cauliflower? Ew. That bad? No, but close. That's why you don't see many predators in the lunchroom. I don't think the stinky defense will work for me. We can hose you down and let your repulsive wet dog smell do the rest. I don't know, guys. Okay, there's one tried and true defense we shouldn't overlook. Running away. He who flees and runs away lives to flee another day. Running away is probably the most popular defense there is. <laughs> But how long could I run? He'd get me eventually and... Oh, no! What time is it? It's a quarter to two. No! I have to face that bully at two o'clock. Fifteen minutes and then it's curtains. Hey, come on, Marty. Don't be such a chicken. My goose is cooked. I'm a dead duck. Chicken, goose, duck, make up your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our next guest. He's prickly, he's stickly, he always has a point. It's the porcupine! Wow, that looks like me when I wake up in the morning. It does. Man, look at those quills. Nobody would mess with him. It would be like fighting a pincushion. I tend to stay away from the porcupine. Mm, good choice. I don't see what good this does me. Okay, okay. How about this, Marty? It looks like a rat in a suit of armor. It's an armadillo. It gets its name from the Spanish word armadillo, meaning little armored thing. It should be called an ugly dillo, little ugly thing. I think he's cute, in a prehistoric monster sort of way. His armor protects him from his enemies, though it doesn't do much good against an 18-wheeler when he's trying to cross the interstate. Oh, gross. Hey, Kenny, didn't you get bullied once? Don't remind me. There was this orca whale who made me his personal punching bag. Now, how about getting that beach ball? Have it your way, Ken. I'm tired of hanging with you anyway. It's barbecue time! Hey, what are you doing? Guys, I'm running out of time here. Think, Kenny. Don't you have any other movies that might help? All right, let me think. Oh, think, Kenny. Think. Think, Ink. Got it! Prepare yourself for a genius of self-defense. An octopus? You gotta be kidding. Nope. Marty can learn a lot from our friend the octopus. In case nobody noticed, I only have four legs. Look! The octopus is changing colors. He's like an underwater chameleon. I told you an octopus is hard to catch. They have lots of tricks up their sleeves. All eight of them. Here's another secret weapon. What's that? A smoke screen? Ink. The octopus shoots it out to confuse predators. That is so cool. It also messes up the predator's sense of smell. I didn't know they were such fast swimmers. Oh, yeah. That's why I could never catch octopuses. You mean octopi. What? Octopi? Octopi? Now, how could I make octopi if I couldn't catch them? Ah, uh, this is making me homesick. Ugh, this is making me seasick. Well, that's about it, Marty. I don't think any of these defenses are gonna help me, guys. Well, you can always resort to the B and P defense. B and P? Begging and pleading. I used to get it all the time. <laughs> Ow, please! Please don't eat me, Mr. Shark! Please! Oh, please don't eat me! You know, that just might work.
I don't know about this, Cat. Trust me. Here he comes, guys. Go! <gasps> Please! No more! Stop! I won't do it again, I promise! You better not. And what are you looking at? <laughs> Isn't that a, a, a man-eating shark? Right now, it's a shark-eating crow. <laughs> That's a good one. Did you say something? Uh, no, sir. Sorry, sir. Oh, look, pal, about before, that bone thing. Yeah? I, I'm sorry. Yeah, take it. Yeah, I... Bye-bye, bully. It worked! Just as I thought, deep down, every bully is a coward himself. Guys, a little help? Sharks are a very proud animal, Marty. I hope you appreciate what I did for you. I sure do, buddy. How can I ever repay you? You can't. But you can start with that bone. 